Hi guys, uh, today's video is on intermittent fasting. I was getting a lot of questions and answering that in a regular video would have been a bit difficult. So I thought to come over to answer your doubts. And I hope after watching this video, all your doubts will be cleared. So let's get started. Most common question is how to choose time slots. Well, you can choose any time slot depending on your lifestyle and work pattern. Now, for example, if you sleep by 8, then ideally your last meal should be by 6. So you may choose 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. as your time slot. You can do 1 to 9 p.m. or 2 to 10 p.m. depending on what time do you go to sleep. Now, if you do night shift and if your shift is from midnight till 8 a.m., then that's the time when you're awake and going to eat. So these 8 hours could be your eating window and rest 16 hours would be the fasting window. So it doesn't really make a difference whether you're eating during the day or night till the time you maintain 16 hours of fasting window and 8 hours of eating window. Now if your eating window is 2 to 10 p.m. then you can follow it as a regular schedule. Follow it as long as you like. Uh, for example, if you followed it for the entire month and then if someday you have to take a break then you can certainly do so. It's not like ketosis which breaks easily. With IF you can always take a break when needed and then continue from the next day. IF only requires you to follow the eating and the fasting windows closely no matter what time slots are. But this doesn't mean that you choose 2 to 10 today and then 10 to 6 tomorrow and so on. You need to ensure giving the 16 hours of fasting period between the two time slots. So choose your time slot depending on your priorities and then go on with it. Only change when it's needed and then come back to your routine. So I hope your doubts regarding the timings are clear now. Now let's talk about men and women following IF. Well, not every woman can fast for 16 hours. So a female still has an option to choose between 14 to 16 hours of fasting and still get benefited. But don't choose less than 14 hours because if it's a few minutes less than 14 hours, then you may not reach the fasting state. Men, on the other hand, should only follow 16 hours of fasting window, not less than that. This is because of the difference in the physical structure. On some sites, you may find 12 hours of fasting window for men, but I don't think it is the case. I think you won't see any benefits. Now let's talk about IF benefits. Well, you become more active and the body starts losing inches. Those who ask on how to reduce fat from a certain area like face fat, love handles, thigh fat, etc. without indulging into physical activity should go for IF. It helps lose a lot of inches without any exercise. Your metabolism goes through a lot of change. If you have a slow metabolism, then it will go up tremendously with IF. Your overall metabolic health will improve. So why do we do fasting? Well, there are three main reasons why people do fasting. First is longevity. Second is improving your gut health. And third is for weight and inch loss. Your body gets rid of problems like indigestion, constipation, etc. Your body in a way detoxes. Old cells are removed from the body and the new cells are formed. This process helps body function better. And during the long fasting hours, our body uses our extra fat deposits to generate energy. And this results in weight as well as inch loss. So these are the three main reasons why people follow IF. Along with these benefits, your brain becomes active. Brain fog clears. You will now experience a lot of clarity and sharp memory as now the brain is functioning better. Now the information which I'm going to share is not available on YouTube or even on any website. Well, normally the information shared on website says that you can consume up to 50 calories without breaking the fasting state. But according to me, it's just 5 calories, else it breaks. I have plenty of videos on IF and I always mention what you can have while on fasting. You can have water, sparkling water, green tea, green coffee, black tea, black coffee, etc. Now the common questions I receive are whether you can add sugar or milk to your tea or coffee. Now let me answer these for you. Now in black tea or coffee, you cannot add milk or sugar, but you can always use stevia as a sweetener. If you cannot drink sugar-free tea or coffee, then you can use stevia, but do not use any other sweeteners like Equal, Aspartam, Splenda, etc as they can tend to break your fast. These sweeteners are less than 5 calories, but still they are not to be consumed. Now remember, anything and everything under 5 calories cannot be consumed. It also depends on how it breaks down in our body. For example, Splenda has 3.36 calories per sachet, but it cannot be consumed as it is broken down very differently in our body, which can hamper our fasting state. 
Now on the other hand, stevia does not get digested or absorbed by our body. It just passes out through our gut without hampering our fasting state. Hence, I only recommend stevia and not other sweeteners like Splenda, monk fruit, etc. I hope now you're clear that you can either have sugar-free tea or coffee or sweeten it only with stevia. And ensure to have only stevia with zero calories and not a product that contains stevia and few other ingredients. I also get a lot of questions on the weight loss drinks I make and share. So today I'm going to clarify which drinks you can have during fasting and which you shouldn't. First is garlic water. I added honey to this drink so you can't drink it. But if you skip adding honey, then you can drink the garlic water. Second is cardamom water. Yes, you can have cardamom water while fasting and you can also chew the pods and seeds along as cardamom is very low in calories. Plus, it's very beneficial during fasting state. A lot of people ask me which of my weight loss drinks can be combined with my 900 calorie egg diet. So the answer is ACV, lemon juice, garlic water and cardamom water. Third drink that can be consumed while fasting is ACV. You can mix it with either room temperature water or warm water. But mixing it with warm water will reap you more benefits. Fourth is lemon juice. Yes, you can have lemon juice mixed with water, but I will still recommend having them in less quantities at a time. In case of both ACV and lemon juice, add only half teaspoon to one teaspoon at a time. Mix with water and drink. And if you wish to have it again, then give a gap of two hours. Next is fennel water, which I recently shared. Yes, you can have the water, but avoid chewing the seeds. Next is my chia and basil seed drink. My answer is no, you cannot have that during fasting state. Next is my pineapple ACV drink or my size zero drink. The answer is no. Matcha tea? Yes, you can have matcha tea, but without any added sweetness, except for stevia, of course. How about my turmeric tea? Yes, you can have my turmeric tea, but ensure to make it in smaller quantities and using just about one four teaspoon to half a teaspoon of turmeric at a time. You can also add black pepper to it, but avoid adding any healthy fats like olive oil, coconut oil, clarified butter or ghee, etc. And of course, no sweeteners. Smoothies? No, you cannot drink any smoothies during fasting period. You cannot even drink my Hunza tea and you cannot even take my uh, Hing or Asafoetida water. How about my Jeera or cumin water drink? Well, no, because I blended cumin seeds in this drink and cumin has calories. If you normally infuse cumin seeds in the water and add lemon juice, then you can drink it, but don't consume the seeds. How about basil and chia seeds? Well, the answer is no. No chia, basil or flax seeds during fasting. How about chia cinnamon drink? Well, no, because it has chia and you cannot have chia during fasting. Turmeric milk? No, you can't have my turmeric milk. And coming to soups, you can't have any variant of soup, even if it's a clear soup. You can have my mint green tea and you can also chew the mint leaves along, but just don't add any sweeteners. You can't have my magical golden water as it contains saffron and raisins which have calories. You can have my coriander water which is named as fat cutter drink, but ensure to make a small glass of it. You cannot have my onion juice which I recently shared. And lastly, you cannot have any nut milks like almond, cashew, coconut, etc. I hope this video helped you know what you can have and what you should skip during fasting period. And before I go, I will share two important tips of facts that you won't find anywhere else. First is about multivitamins or vitamin supplements. Have them during your eating window as normally these tablets or uh, capsules contain a sugary coating on them. And none of these brands mention how many calories do these supplements carry. So it's always safe to consume them during the eating window and not fasting. Second is herbal tea. Teas like mint tea, hibiscus tea, chamomile tea, etc. can be consumed. But avoid teas which have fruit infusions like berry tea, apple tea, peach tea, etc. Now I have a variant which has ginger and peach, which tastes good. But as it has peach and there are no calories mentioned on the box, I do not take it during my fasting period. So avoid taking any teas uh, that have fruit infusions, which can break your fast. So these were my tips and information on IF and I hope all your doubts are clear now and you got a clarity on how to follow IF in a better way. Personally, IF is my favorite. I did it continuously for nine months and then took a month's break 
and again I'm on IF since two months. I just love the experience and I strongly urge you all to follow it. Do try IF and share your experience with me in the comment section. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and subscribe to both my channels, Versatile Wiki and Wikipedia. And I will see you soon next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. I hope I cleared all your doubts regarding IF and you got a clarity on how to follow IF in a better way. Hi, Mom. What are you doing? Hi, honey. I'm shooting a video. Okay. Would you like to say hi to my audience too? Hi. 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 <laughs> say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Come here. Come here. Come here. Don't, don't jump. Mm. Ah, say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Okay, tell me what you learned. Will you say ABCD? No. Come on. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, N, L, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, N, Z, I, no, my, A, B, C, next. Time won't you sing what me. me? Well done. How about counting? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 1920! Perfect! He hasn't joined the school yet and still he has learned so many things. So he's my boy. Yeah! <laughs> I, I would like to thank you for the patience. This video took about 5 to 6 hours at a stretch and he didn't utter a word. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. He's my darling. He's my love. I love you. I love you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> Bye.